What's up guys, more 2025 Skidoo new model intro information coming at you right now. I'm here with Mike and uh, we're gonna talk about the MXZ lineup and there's a reason for that because there's a lot of news here in the MXZ lineup, important stuff, not just stuff we've already talked about, but there's other stuff going on here too. Now you told me that you've owned Absolutely, an MXZ yeah. 600. What about this 600 is different for 2025? Yeah, so I'm a huge fan of the 600R. I think it's it's in a class of its own. This is a great motor that's had a, a, a lot of uh, a lot of really positive feedback, I think, from anybody mm -hmm. who's ridden one. And what's new for this year is you can actually get this sled now with smart shocks and you can get it with the new uh, 10.25 inch display, which is amazing. Yeah, it takes the, the 600 now is no longer uh, like a sub level sled. You can have an 850, you can have a 600, and they are both equal in terms of technology that you can load these things up with. Of course, the 600 also gets the new RAS RX front end yep. and the new Pilot RX ski. Um, and I can only imagine, we didn't have one of these to ride yesterday, but I'm really excited to try one because I think the lightweight of the 600 with that new front end is really going to shine. I think the front end is going to shine with this sled. I think this is going to be a really wicked model next year and is going to be sick in the bumps. And I think for the most part, I think there's 600 classes, their most popular selling class yep. too, right? So yep. a lot of people are going to get all the features that you know we've been hearing about mm -hmm. with the 850 Turbo. They're jam-packed now into the 600 R. So. The way it should be. Yeah. You shouldn't have to take a hit on technology to ride a 600. Exactly. You know? We should all get our cake and eat it too. That's right. All right, let's move further <laughs> down here because there's a sled down here I want to talk about. Sure. And this is the uh, MXZ Adrenaline 600 R. Now, I actually gave you guys wrong information in the very beginning, a couple videos ago, when I said that only the X and XRS packages get the new front end. The Adrenaline, which is this sled, has the new front end on it as well, yep. with one caveat. Yeah. So what doesn't it have? So it does not get the Pilot RX skis. It doesn't get the skis. I think that's super weird. <laughs> um, and I didn't test this, so I can't give you guys any info on how the front end works without the ski. Um, I assume it's not going to be as good. It'll be better than last year, but probably not as good as when you get the proper ski with it. However, I'm really happy to see that BRP didn't skimp on their entry level models. Mm -hmm. Every MXZ gets the front suspension. Yeah, I think we were talking a little bit in detail about the skis before, and certainly the, that RX ski is a much more aggressive ski. Yep. So it's like they've sort of maybe just not tuned the uh, the adrenaline line, right, to be as aggressive. Uh, Noted, knowing that maybe the adrenaline buyer or some adrenaline buyers aren't going to be quite as aggressive riders, so a more exactly. mellow handling experience probably will benefit them a little more and, and won't be a negative for that rider. Yeah. With that said, is that a cool color or what? Yes. I really like color. that steel blue. That is beautiful. This sled also has the hand guards, which is cool, and, and these aren't new. Um, have you have you used these? Yes. So I've actually I put these on my 900R this year. Um, it's a really great idea. It's all geared towards safety, yep. and it's all about making sure that riders who are coming uh, who are coming forward or coming towards you know that there's people behind you. Um, if you have an incident on the trail, I actually used this. I used them this year because we had a breakdown on the trail, mm -hmm. and you can actually put the flashers on while I had to tow somebody back this year. So uh, like a that. really, really great, great system. Overall. There you go. I love that. That's yeah. so cool. Yeah, I'd I'd use that just to be like, hey, Luke's coming through. <laughs> you might all want to get out of the way. Be careful. <laughs> awesome. All right, let's move down here. We'll talk about this guy. Um, I think this sled might be my favorite one for this coming season we did have one of these yesterday uh, this is a naturally aspirated 850 yep. xrs with obviously the new front end this one has smart shocks i i wouldn't take smart shocks personally i would stick with the regular front end yep. however the naturally aspirated setup with that new front end and the new ski I, I can't say enough good about it. It was awesome. Yeah, I mean, you're, you've had a chance to kind of play around with them already. And I think for myself personally, you know, this is a sled that we are certainly interested in trying as mm -hmm. well. Um, we are definitely interested in a turbo, but um, I think, you know, some of the changes this year and just being able to now get this sled with smart shocks, with the new front end mm -hmm. in an 850 naturally aspirated, I mean, how can you go wrong? I think this is going to be a big seller. Um, and, and it was the sled yesterday that stood out to me as like the one I would buy if I could, but I can't. <laughs> All right, last but not least, let's move over to the big boy. Yes. Um, you know, there, there are some things to talk about here. 
with uh, turbo comp package. So why don't you tell us what, what's new about the comp package for, for 2025? Yeah, so obviously with the comp package, um, you're basically going to be getting the whole new front end, right? So that's yep. again standard across, uh, across the MXZ lineup. Um, you're also going to be getting the new uh, Pilot RX skis, which yep. uh, again, I think we're also super excited about. And I think you've got options for how you can order a shock package as well. Mm -hmm. So you can either get the Kashima coated shocks or you can, uh, you yep. can get it with the smart shocks. You get the Pro right? 40s if you want, or you can get smart shocks, which means that this now becomes the most maximum technology sled you can get from BRP probably with the most maximum price tag from BRP2, <laughs> right. uh, but people who complain about price are buying the wrong sled. That's right. the problem. If you don't want it, go buy that Adrenaline because it's probably really well priced. If you want all the bells and whistles, this is the one you get. Um, also, again, we, we talked a little bit about this, but I'll just mention it again. The 10.2 inch display now with built-in GPS. So yeah. you no longer have to have your phone connected. That's, a, that's something we've been begging for and scratching our heads why we couldn't have it. We now have it, it's here. And uh, this sled also for 2025 comes in two colors. Last year, this sled was a one skew. That's right. Came how it came, don't ask any questions. Yeah. Walk out the door with it. This year, you've got a shock package and you've got a color package you can pick from. So this is, uh, I'm excited. This MXZ lineup for 2025 has got a lot of sizzle. It's got a lot of really great stuff that I think are gonna keep people coming back to buy sleds, to spend more money. If you got a 24 like you do, unfortunately, it's gonna cost you some dough, but <laughs> it's money upgrade. well spent, and I really think it's worth the upgrade. I, I don't say that all the time, but I really think MXZ in 2025, there is a very, very good reason to spend money and buy a new one. I really believe that. Yeah, definitely. I think we're super excited. Um, I personally haven't had a chance to ride a turbo yet this year, but it's it's super high on the list, and I think if we're you know if we're able to get our hands to try one, maybe order one for next year, this might be one of the sleds that, uh, that we try. Awesome. There you go.